Fransbury Gator Country. Urban, when you think about the last four years and you know how quickly it goes and how special it is, you know, 48 wins in four years, things like that. Um, does it seem like it just could have happened that fast? Does it? Does, how? How do you react after this happens and you start looking? You're going to be saying goodbye to these guys. Well, uh, I, I might reflect a little bit. I've never had a chance to do that. You know, after some of these great wins we've had, I remember the two national championship games we played in, school started four days prior to the actual game. So we're worried about getting you guys back in class and, and getting going and the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. So um, I am going to force myself to sit back and reflect on coaching uh, these, these past five years and certainly these last four years with this group of kids that won so many games. In the third row, Pat. Yeah, Pat Forty from ESPN.com. Tim, did you feel especially dialed in with your throwing tonight? And Urban, I know the game plan is to win, but did you want to give him the opportunity to show what he could do in terms of throwing the ball a little bit more tonight? Um, well, yeah, I did feel good um, uh, out there just in warm-ups and playing and throwing around, but it really wasn't too much different um, than most of the time. I just feel that our receivers offense line did a great job today, and uh, they just made me look a lot better than I am. <clears throat> Joe Goodman, Miami Herald. Well, I, oh, you got a follow up? Usually, what happens during the course of a game is the first two series, you get a feel how they're going to defend you and how they're going to defend our formations. And I thought our Steve Adazio and Scott Leffler, those guys did a great job. And, and obviously, Tim had a lot of input in every, every sideline, um, every series. We basically was scripted and say, let's do this, 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 is because this is how we're playing us. So, uh, we got a good beat on how they're playing us, and, and our receivers did a very good job. They don't play a lot of man coverage, but our guys got by them in, uh, in zone coverage, and, and uh, uh, Tim obviously threw the ball as well as he's ever thrown. And, uh, but it, it's more how, how they play you in the first couple series to get a feel for uh, what you're going to what you're going to call. Okay. Joe Goodman, Miami Herald. Uh, Urban, why does the devastation of a defeat? outweigh the joy of a win? I'm sorry? Why does the devastation of a defeat <clears throat> outweigh the joy of a win? The devastation of a defeat outweigh the joy of a win. Oh, you guys are 26 and 2 over the last two years. That's a great question. That's one I got to figure out, I guess. <laughs> that's kind of, that's kind of uh, uh, the way you said it makes you think. Also, over the next month, uh, what's your role going to be as a recruiter? I'm sorry? Over the next month, what's your role going to be as a recruiter? Well, I'm going to do everything I can to keep this train going in the right direction, and, and I am, uh, that'll all be discussed during the next few days. We got one over there first. Uh, ben Volan from the Palm Beach Post. Tim, you said this week the hardest thing about this game might be taking off that jersey for the last time. I don't think you're wearing it. I can't really see. But no, what was that moment like for you just now? Well, um, it was actually rushed a lot. I was trying to get in here to see y'all. I was so excited about it. Um, <clears throat> no, I actually needed some help to take it off, too. It was really tight. Um, but, um, but, you know, it, it's... <laughs> Um, just the ending of the game and how special it was and just everything, just celebrating it with um, just the families and everybody. I mean, that's what it's about, and that's really what I really meant by that. Pete, uh, Pete Thamel from the New York Times. Uh, Tim, we were excited to see you too, so I'm glad you came. Uh, <laughs> could you talk a little bit about just the emotion of it all, your career ending, this tumultuous week for the program and coming out and culminating in that today? It was a big week for the program and uh, and just, you know, my time at the University of Florida coming to an end uh, a, seemed like a little bit of a roller coaster, um, but it was special. It was a lot of fun. Um, just everything that's happened, the relationships that were built, everything that we've done, my time at Florida was special. It was better than a dream. Um, honestly, I dreamed of being a Gator since I was six years old and it was better than I could have dreamed. Um, and just the, the people I was around and coaches and families and everything, um, it was amazing. And this last week was tough, just dealing with everything and, you know, um, just worried about others around you and stuff. But, you know, it, it still was special. And to, to finish it off like this uh, was special. 
Jason Kelly with Metro Networks. A uh, question for Joe. Uh, Joe, this Cincinnati offense came in with a reputation, so to speak, for scoring points, and you guys set the tone early and really shut them down. Why do you think you're able to do that so well? Um, one thing that we, we really worked on was getting pressure on the uh, quarterback. The D-line did a great job, and uh, with as far as the receivers, me and Janoris and uh, the Marquis, we just wanted to be really physical with him, throw him off the timing, because one thing Pike does, he throws a lot of his passing routes on timing. So if you get up there and uh, get your hands on him, and you throw that off, it messes up the offense. More questions? We've got one in the middle here. Hey, Coach Meyer, uh, at SEC Media Day, somebody asked you uh, what you thought about Tim Tebow and the history of college football and if he's the greatest player and where he fits into that whole scheme. Uh, you said you'd answer it at the appropriate time. I assume that to me when his career was over. Uh, now that it is, can you kind of talk about how he fits in with the, the history of the game? Well, I, I'm not a historian of the game. I love college football and I have studied it. Uh, it'd be in poor taste for me to, you know, put him or just start ranking him above other people that I never saw play because I, I, that's that's not fair. I can just give you my personal perspective on him as a, as an athlete, a player, a quarterback, a leader, and a winner. And I can't imagine there's ever been another one better. I'm not saying he's better because once again, I don't. 1920s, 30s, 40s, there's been some great football players all the way through the 80s, 90s. So it's not fair to those other great players. However. One man's opinion is, if there's one better than him, I'd love to shake his hand. Because uh, in my opinion, he's the best. Take one in the back. Uh, Jeremy Fowler, Orlando Sentinel. Uh, Tim, a lot of people have been saying goodbye to you in the last week. But how do you want to say goodbye to all this, to Gator Nation and the whole deal? Um, honestly, just by saying thank you. Um, thank you for all the memories. Um, uh, everything that has happened, uh, just sticking by us, um, by coach, by me, all the players, and just all the memories that I'll have. Um, <clears throat> and uh, that just because I'm, I'm graduating the University of Florida doesn't mean that I'm still not a Gator. I've been a Gator my whole life and I'll always be a Gator. Um, so it's not really saying goodbye, it's just moving on to a new chapter, but I'll still always be a Gator. Peter Caruso, this Florida Today. Urban, several times during the game, fans were chanting your name. Did, did you hear them? And if so, what did you think? And if you didn't hear them, what do you think of hearing about that now? Well, I did not hear that. And uh, I'm very appreciative of our fans uh, showing support for my family. And, and uh, we got great fans. We got the best fans in college football. And I love them to death. And uh, I'm, I did not hear that, but I appreciate that. I, I heard it. Probably got time for maybe two more questions. Take one in the front. Urban with uh, Fun. and for Tim too. You you sent Tim in for one last play, then brought him off. And what what goes through your mind when you, when you know he comes off and it's kind of like it really is over, you know? And Tim, uh, talk about also a follow up with him, how you felt when when you got to go out there for that one last play and then come off. Well, we tried to do that. Uh, we've done that before with seniors and, and uh, Riley Cooper, David Nelson, Tim. Was that it? Mm -hmm. The three seniors? Yeah. We had the three seniors, and I just think that I think that's one of the great traditions of college football that when uh, you do your curtain call when you've earned that right. Uh, I certainly think Riley Cooper with his performance today, David Nelson with what he's meant for, college, for uh, Florida football, then the obvious is Tim to have him go in there and exit the field the right way. So I'm a big fan of tradition, a big fan of pageantry, especially when it's earned. For me, I was a little bummed Gillisley didn't take that to the house. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it looked like he was going to break it. Um, but it, it's an emotional moment, and knowing that's your last play as a Gator, and it's something special. And to give Coach Meyer a hug um, and just see the rest of the coaches and the guys was extremely special, and it's something that you always remember.